there was not a whole toilet seat in all of Naples. You might be right. Good morning, I'm Teresa, your team leader for today. This is Raffaele, our driver. We are in very good hands. On the left, the much shorter, it's called Monte Somma. It's what remained the old volcano of the eruption of 79. I want to go down back to the bottom, but like this road is treacherous. This is all you get to walk on. But it's beautiful. This town is just so ridiculously beautiful. It makes me never want to leave. But we basically rode literally windy roads all through this to get down here. It's about fun in hours in Naples. It's worth it. We did two little stops on the way. Of course, I'm spending money that I don't need to spend, but it's hard. Look at this beautiful scenery. So guys, this place is so freaking cute, and I absolutely love just looking at all the colors, all the texture. The water is so blue. So the cathedral is this way, down this dark corridor. I think it's in there. But it is Sunday, so I don't want to, you know, if they're having church. family Ruffalo and there is a legend that Nandolfo Ruffalo leave a treasure in the villa and there is another legend that they say when the devil tried to tempt Jesus he showed the beauty of the world in this beauty there is also revelation
Hey okay, guys, so I got back from my um, day tour in Amalfi Positano. I will link the app that I bought it on. I literally bought it yesterday because I was like, I'm going to be there. I did a pizza making class last night. And I was like, I feel like I should do something. I don't know. I really wanted to do Pompeii, but I also really want to do Amalfi. And I found this tour. It was like a hundred and something dollars and it included both. Um, I will say I really, really, really can kick myself because originally on this trip, I was supposed to be staying in Positano. But when I booked the hotel, it told me that like after I booked it, they gave me the address and it was at the top of like this hill and they were like no taxis can get there and you had to like lug your luggage up the hill and I just was like super nervous and freaked out and booked and canceled it which was the biggest mistake ever. Amafi. If you don't do anything else besides Rome and Amafi, please, for me, just do it. I'm mad I didn't take my film camera because I thought it was going to have rain could kick myself it was so beautiful it was so beautiful um and then at Pompeii it started to spit a little bit but it looked like it was gonna storm so I bought a 10 euro umbrella that I didn't even use because it didn't rain uh, I'm gonna head out and grab some pizza because it's Sunday and apparently no restaurants are open and I wanted to sit down and have a dish of food but I'm looking around everything is closed or it doesn't open up until seven and I'm hungry and I don't really want to be outside in these streets at night for a number of different reasons um but mostly i just don't feel that comfortable here in naples a lot of people were saying it's racist when i was doing my research i haven't gotten that but i don't feel comfortable like i'm looked at like not even like a meal like not even like they want like they just want like almost like they want to rob you there's a big unemployment issue here a big drug epidemic issue here um and you pairing that with the dilapidation of the city and it's just a lot and it could be just where I'm at and maybe it's not all of Naples um I'm gonna beat around tomorrow morning and try to give it the other benefit of the doubt the people have been nice not the ones that aren't staring at me like I'm Christmas dinner here I'm like y'all look sketch and it could just be their face so let's go before it gets dark <laughs> I found this really cute store. I feel like. Supposedly, this pizza is really good. There was a line, it was recommended to me. And. I got the fans and the pizza for $7.50, so let's see what it tastes like. I've been carrying around this freaking spoon with me for a while, and I didn't know what I was going to use it for until now. All my water that I have to drink before tomorrow. It's already cut. Okay, it's already cut. I think. Yeah. I see, like, a cut mark, but... If it is cut, not well, so let's cut it. Well, my pizza yesterday tasted exactly like this and I feel like I know the secret now to a margarita pizza, but I can say I ate pizza in the home of pizza.